a lot of going on with Bill Zavanti. The way we got in the trunk was through the hidey hole here. Then we reached in. We put a flathead screwdriver there in the latch. Right in that hole in the center. And pop the trunk open. So here we are with Bill Zavanti. Got everything done last week. And then the trunk don't want to close. So I get it to latch and then I won't get it to unlatch. So we go through the happy hidey hole back in here with a flathead. Pop that baby open. Wes opens the trunk. And we notice that the cable isn't in its home. So we're gonna pull a latch right now, get the cable back where it's supposed to go. Maybe lube it up a little bit. Let's see where we go. We found the issue as we were a little gummed up in here on the latch. So we went and cleaned the latch real good with a little solvent, got all the grease and yucky out of it. And then we hit the cable with a very little bit of WD-40 all along the cable soak in. It's real nice. And what we do here, Wes? We hit it with a little PB Blasty. Oh, PB. It's a nice and smooth now. Look at that. Yeah. All right, we're going to put it back together. And away we go. Uh, so going to put the little this. hooky. What did you call me? Because you gotta, you gotta have it halfway on. There you go. Ford and Chrysler use these a lot on throttle linkages. Mm -hmm. I'm always fighting them. Boom. There she is. All right, let's line that baby up. Even in the hole. Yeah, so you have the nuts. nuts on the back. Gotcha. All right, let's go. All right. So the Wessy Wes and I, after lubing her up, get a little, wipe it down, lubed her up, got her all in. There was a J nut in here with another J-nut behind it with a really crappy Phillips screw. So you couldn't tighten up on the cable itself. So we got it all tightened up, got everything down, and I hit the latch over like this, and Wes went to do it, and it wouldn't go. So we're like, ah, crap. So we loosened up our retaining bolt that we put in, pulled the cable towards the interior of the car, and Fire away, sir. Ha ha, it works. Hit it again for fun. Bam. Money. All done. Didn't need a new cable for Bill. So I get to send that back, which is good. Maybe they didn't even ship it yet. I can get lucky because every Studebaker vendor sucks unfortunately um that i've encountered so far so that's done we're gonna try it out right now i'm gonna lock down our bolts and away we go. pop it perfect all right so we did a little adjusting window is down. Got a little adjusting, adjust the idle mixture. Got everything all dialed in. She runs the good now. So that's all set. I did notice one thing. And we turned the wipers on. Knows I don't have a wiper on the passenger side. 
So when we turned them on, the drive itself is, the spline is loose. So what we're gonna do is you know, drill a small hole here in the side and tap it. Put a little set screw in it to lock her down. And then we'll have wipers. So we went to test the wipers. That side works great. This side, notice I have it off already, would just sit there and flop around. Well, it's because the spline is no longer swaged to the pivot. So easy fix, because we can't really get one here in any decent amount of time to put it on and fix it with a new piece, but we can simply drill a small hole in here and tap it and put a set screw and that will lock that down and our wipers will work again.